What's up everyone, my name is Jodhpit and in this video I am going to show you how you can set up your Linux distro for install on any system. That's coming right up. Okay, so let's get started. The process is pretty simple, I am going to break it down for you. The first step is selecting the distro you want. The second part is selecting which desktop environment you want. Third is whether you want a live or a regular distro and the fourth is to download the distro and the fifth is to burn it either to a pen drive or to a DVD. I'm going to cover all these steps in detail so that you have a clear understanding of what I'm trying to say. So let's get to the first step which is selecting a dif the distro you want to install. So here I have a few distros or home pages on the web websites and they will be linked right below in the description below the like button. The first one is Ubuntu which is a really highly recommended desktop operating system on Linux because it is really the most used and it has a ton of support and a lot of people genuinely like it. And be sure to check minimum system requirements for which one do you want. The next one is Fedora which is like a little bit more cutting edge and has the latest software in it but is a little less stable than Ubuntu itself but it has its own perks and it has different level types of distributions like for servers it has a different one and the one you would look for is workstation which will be linked right below the third is a really new popular distribution which a lot of people are starting to beginning and liking it a lot is Linux Mint uh, it's based on Ubuntu but takes the good things of Ubuntu and applies it to a more cleaner desktop look and a more stable and faster performance look. And the fourth one is Debian. This is the main distribution on which all the others like Ubuntu and Mint have been based off. Fedora is a different one but Debian is the main one which on which Ubuntu and Mint have been based. Uh, there are other distributions that as well. You can go ahead and search for them for their download links and get them which you want. Now the second part I want to describe to you is whether you want to get the beta, alpha or the stable distro. Now if you are like me and you like to try out new software first and for me actually I like to review stuff early as well. So I generally tend to get the alpha versions or beta versions first but if you are more of a desktop user and want more stability over a time period and don't want to fiddle with the alpha stuff and don't want stuff crashing in your system then it's better and recommended for you to get the regular distro release, uh, releases which are the main download links in their websites of the different distributions and you can get your hands dirty first and get the alpha or beta versions for yourself but if you're a regular home user and or a office user i would recommend we recommend waiting for the main distribution regular distribution to release become stable and then use it Okay, now that was about the distributions and about the beta and alpha. Now the third step in is whether you want a live or a regular install. A regular install download will be comparatively smaller and will directly go ahead and install the software. Now you must be used to this in like Windows where you just insert the disk and you straight away, straight away go to the installation process. But Linux has something good which is called a live dis live distribution basically what it does is it allows you access to run the actual distribution without installing or having the need to install it this is especially useful if you're like on to if you want something specific like if you want to just get a file like a system has been corrupt and you just want a small file out of the system and do not want to install a different operating system altogether you can easily get that which is really helpful hmm. and the regular install I've already talked about and be sure to check your architecture if it's 64 bit or 32 bit and recommended is 32 bit but if your system can run 64 bits it's all well and good be sure to check your architecture before downloading now the next thing you want to check is if you which type of desktop environment you want so basically desktop environment what it is is like this skin on windows it has just one look but in Linux you have a lot of choices as to how they look and perform like you can have this on the top that is just a basic customization 
these desktop environments give you a whole new look and a whole new access to different set of features which you can set up and use for your distro. I'm just going to tell about the three basic ones which are really common. Uh, a quick note, Ubuntu ships with Unity by default. You can get a different flavor but by default it ships with Unity which is its own desktop environment. Uh, so going ahead with that, the next one is Genome. This is a really popular desktop environment has a really clean interface and is really loved by a lot of people and a lot of distributions use this as the default Fedora being one of the major ones and others I have spin-offs like Ubuntu has a spin-off Ubuntu GNOME GNOME or Genome and as a matter of fact you can easily install it on Unity like you can install the basic software first and then install Genome for use uh, on in your day-to-day -day usage. This is GNOME. The website is linked down below if you want to check more about the software. The next is KDE, which is getting a lot of attention recently and is becoming a real really good because of its, its set of features mainly because the looks are good as is and then it has a lot of good software features to top it all off. The third one is XOCE. This is mainly recommended if you have like a slower computer or an old computer with old hardware. This takes less resources and is comparatively less visually appealing but gets the job all done and it's really good for you if you are trying to get Linux on like a old system which is lying around your house. So with that I have talked about the this various desktop environments. Now the third step is to go ahead and download the distro you have selected. For this video, I have selected Fedora. You can go ahead and download Ubuntu or Mint or Debian or various others like elementary OS or maybe OpenSUSE or whichever you want. Now there are two ways to download this. One is the direct HTTP download and when you click this button, it will start the download. And one is getting the torrent, which I currently use because it has various benefits over the HTTP. You can get that torrent downloads and go, go ahead and download the file. I have it downloaded over right here, Fedora Live. Now comes the actual process which is to make the pen drive or the CD DVD ready for booting the Linux distro you want to install. So for that you have two softwares. If you are trying to use a USB pen drive, the recommended software is Unit Bootin. You can just go ahead and download it and I have it here. You, you should, I recommend using a pen drive for like installing a Linux distribution because over a period of time if you want to try out a new distribution you can easily just replace all the files whereas in a CD it's comparatively more difficult if it's only a read only and you cannot change what once has been written on it. So you can go ahead and download it for your system and I'm going to show you how you can easily install it on your pen drive. Go ahead and run it. It will ask for permission, yes and then it will ask you which distribution do you want. Uh, it, this is, don't be distracted. This is mainly the, if you select this, it will go ahead and download the distribution. But since you already have it downloaded, the recommended method is to go ahead and click on disk image and select ISO and go ahead and select the file where it is placed. For me, it's right on the desktop and I will go ahead and open. And then it's for the type, is it a USB drive or a hard drive and then you select the place where it is. I'm just going to go ahead and check. For me, it is drive G where I am particularly interested to install it. I'll go ahead and select drive G. Oops, drive G and once you click OK, it will go ahead and kind of install all the software and recommended systems. And my recommendation is try to get off all your data outside the pen drive and get your all data off because it might format it as well and another thing to take care of is that you have enough space to install it for Fedora 25 which I have downloaded the space is around 1.3 gigabytes so you can expect around the same file size to be installed so make sure you have a pen drive which is big enough so that the distribution can be installed once you have selected all that go ahead and click on OK and it will go ahead and click select the files and it will install all of them. It might take a few minutes and I'm just going to go ahead and cancel on this and if and it may run on the background or you can guy you guys can install it as long as you want. 
for the purpose of this video this was all all i wanted to show you and once this this is completed you are basically ready to install your linux distribution with the use of a pen drive over time you can use different distributions and install them using pen drives i'm just going to go ahead and click out of this now the second method is if you have a cd or dvd which you want to use to install the distribution for that windows 7 onwards i think it has a default iso program which you can use to install uh, extract the iso in the dvds but i'm just going to go ahead and link a free software burnaway which you can use to extract the iso in the dvd for ready to install and you can click ahead download i have already got it download here and i've installed the software i will go ahead and run it and here you can click on burn iso and here you can select the iso which is there and the drive i currently have no dvd in here but you can insert the dvd and here are the options like using lower write speed or verifying data and other stuff like that you can go ahead and click on burn or and it will burn the iso in the dvd and you will be ready for install after you have got this dvd you just restart your system and select the dvd and it will go ahead and install so this step is common to both pen drive and uh, cd or dvd you just insert them restart your computer and enter your bios this is mainly f8 or f10 depending on your motherboard and hardware you can see the keys go ahead and select the cd or pen drive which you have inserted and you will be presented with the options to install the various distributions you have burned in the dcd dvd or the pen drive so this was all i had to cover for this video different environment different distros different methods pen drive or dvd that was it for this video uh, be sure to subscribe because i am going to show you a lot more further steps for installing the different distros like fedora or ubuntu and configuring various options be sure to subscribe for that leave a like if you enjoyed the video give a comment if you have any questions or need any help i am there to support you and that's about this for this video be sure to subscribe and i'll show a lot more different distribution installation system processes in the near future so that was it uh, this is me jyotpreet singh signing off and i'll see you next time okay bye